Okay, let me explain how I did the, the flooring on the my Jeffrey store building. I uh, typed in concrete floor wallpaper and then I checked on the images and then you get all kinds of concrete textures and I chose this one because it has a nice it's a nice big size file. Oops. It shows up there it is for instance this is one file that's really huge in it okay so here's the file in photoshop i resize it for a four size sheet of paper i'm going to print options and i'm gonna use the settings for a regular paper but i'm gonna go for a high quality print so i'm gonna do it like this now to give this flat piece of paper with a Concrete flooring printed it some some texture because now it looks kind of flat. You can use all kinds of tricks. You can use uh, like a very coarse 120 grit sanding paper, and then you put something maybe like a T-shirt underneath because you need a soft padding like this. Uh, I think it's even better to do it like this, just on top of the print. Just, just check out what it does. I'm gonna take a hammer and just do it like this. And then you get the imprint of the, the sandpaper, sandpaper on your imprint. Hopefully it works. Yes, there's some. But maybe we can also use this steel brush. Give it a texture that looks more real. Of course, it's not necessary, but you can do it. You can use all kinds of different textures that you can find on the internet using Google. You can use it on the outside of your building as well. And this is just a way to uh, give it some extra feel, some look. Just to make it look more realistic, more authentic. So I've got the piece of printed concrete flooring to size so it fits inside like this it cuts over here and now I'm gonna glue it in place I'm gonna use uh, spray glue hopefully this this stuff works I need to check if the nozzle is still open yes okay let's give this a go okay I already sprayed it now I'm gonna I'm mounting it and I'm gonna press all the corners let me get a small tool for that. Maybe the back of a brush. Press it against all the edges. So it's gonna sit flush, look natural. And the advantage of the spray glue is that it doesn't give you any stains. And it doesn't soak in, it's just on the surface. I did only one side, it's only the paper I glued. I sprayed with the spray glue, not the surface of the, of the building itself. Okay, well, that looks pretty nice. It looks pretty realistic. Now let me get a So here's the results. It looks pretty badass, if I might say so. So let me turn it around. Oops, sorry, homie. Here you can see, got nice, nice detail. And it really looks like concrete. So this is a fast way of creating a surface. Just using uh, pictures from the internet, printed out, and. Uh, well, that's it basically. Hope you like it.